Hello people, and welcome back to part 2 of Ilos, our modded City Skylines build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all of the support on the start of this series when we had a little premiere on the YouTube channel this week. It really blew me away. Thank you so much for all the kind comments and just lovely words that you guys dropped on that first episode. I really appreciate it. And I think we're going to start out with a fairly chill uh, expansion here. I want to carry on bringing out the American uh, eclectic grid into this space and keep spanning it off the arterial. And I also want to have a discussion about some churches and some graveyards and also some generic uh, suburban uh, part designs that we can now start to utilise in various places across the city. We'd like to start planning for some initial public transport, although we won't cover too much public transport today, uh, but I'm thinking maybe some kind of open commercially plaza here with some trams and buses knocking around. And then finally, uh, bring the arterial road across the river and probably have a look at some kind of high school uh, campus slash complex. So plenty of nice ideas in store as always today. Let's get started, shall we? I'm just taking away the current cemeteries that we placed in last time because this road network wants to be reworked ever so slightly now. So I'm going to come off the road guideline and I'm going to use one of these uh, two lane roads with the uh, yellow dash in the middle. And let's bring this out by... Let's go for 16. And I think what I want to do here to connect back into the arterial is actually use uh, one of the parking lot roads. I'm going to bring this one straight through. That's going to be nice, right? And a fantastic mod, uh, Parking Lot Snapping, allows these little uh, kind of preset parking decals to just snap onto each other. Super useful mod, Parking Lot Snapping, definitely worth picking up. But this will allow us to construct some kind of little suburban park design, okay? I think I'm going to be fairly happy with this. And I'm really happy to be playing with these kind of park designs in Ilos right there. Really fun to be working with and hope you guys are as well. So I think I'm feeling... Uh, a baseball field uh, up on the corner here, of course. We want to just bring it slightly off the ground to get rid of those sprites and let's make it flush with this corner as well. So we'll have that there. No, if that's going to be too bad. Okay. Now, if I draw a road in here, uh, I do want to include also uh, the skate park asset from the After Dark DLC, which we can't quite squeeze in here. How far? Off squeezing, are we? Yeah, you will clip ever so slightly. And then likewise again, just using Move It to make a little skate park flush with the car park here. And then we can reinstate those car parking spaces. Just wanted to slightly amend it so we're making this look as nice as possible. So I think I'm going to leave a space at the start of the car park here, uh, free. Uh, for a little bit of uh, detailing, of course. I think we've got some nice little plant ideas uh, in store here. Okay, and then I think I fancy uh, yet another uh, car park road to occupy this space as well. Again, we'll fill out these also. And then how about a little gazebo here too? A little regular gazebo like that. I don't know if that's going to be too bad, right? And then I think after this, this will now be a somewhat appropriate place to just hop back into the arterial. There's possibilities for more decoration here if we want. Let's go ahead and grab maybe a little dirt path. Of no snapping on. It's like this kind of meander across the corner. Again, there's opportunities uh, to develop the green belt as well if we wanted to, like we were uh, working with last time. Lots of little brown weeds all around this corner. Some cactus as well. Always appreciated, right? And we can just flash out a little, a little corner here now and just work with a suburban park design. And there's so many different shapes and sizes we can take this in as well. Uh, but it's not finished, of course. Uh, let's have a look at what we can do here. So although we can't actually place assets um, on these parking roads themselves, uh, they will still actually read as connected if you kind of click and drag. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to plop in... Let's go for some basketball courts, I think. Let's go for two, two basketball courts. And then we'll use Move It to select the both of them and then give them a little, a little bit of spin and twist. I'll probably use beautify our builds here as well to probably get rid of the trees. Then we'll have these down here as well. Okay. So they'll be on the car park now. So we're almost making like a little suburban sports complex here, right? And then let's have a look at some low density commercial. I will certainly want kind of a nice big corner asset here. Maybe some fast food as well. Spin them around and then drag them onto here. All right. 
This is where Potla Globals comes in really handy for kind of custom building at uh, these little sports centers now. But already, you know, just a little block of some smaller commercial zoning, a couple of park assets and some nice car park decals in there as well. I don't think that's going to be too bad, right? I think I'm fairly happy with that already. Uh, and I'll definitely have some organic commercial uh, growing along here as well. So I think I'm happy with that. So we also wanted to touch on the idea of reintroducing that car park into the area again. Of course, we're using the park life paths as roads mod for this. So if we were to come in here, that's going to give us... I want to make sure we do have angle on road length on as well. And again, we'll reinstate those realistic working cemeteries. I think we had like four, didn't we? So place four of these in. Now we also have some new fences of the workshop, which I think... Um, Quite keen on using here as well, using uh, the prop line tool. Why don't we bring you straight the way up? Just have a little, a little think about this here. Just to border off the graveyard. I don't think it's too bad, right? I think I'm happy with it. Uh, let's bring in another police station as well. Now for this part, Tana, why don't we go for the police precinct? This is one of the uh, the nicer corner units here. One of our little police assets. Of course, link below if you want to come and grab it. So I'm thinking just by manually placing in a few of these older looking buildings. You imagine this once was the main street through town. However, it's since been redeveloped and, you know, now there's kind of more modern car park in here and much more modern retail. Whereas these are kind of the old delis and butchers and, you know, this once was main street, but isn't anymore, so the old buildings are just kind of left here now. I think that's a nice idea to get on board with, right? And we can exacerbate that vibe even more by starting to come in with decals, kind of dusty ones along the main road here, right? And kind of along the junctions. And then also on the uh, car parks here as well. You know, you imagine there's a lot of sand in a place like this, and Perhaps on the roads that aren't quite as busy, a little bit of that sand does accumulate. It's not always just kind of blown away by the, by the cars, so I think we can get away with that in certain places. Especially kind of down these older, more scuffed up streets as well, right? I think we can enjoy a, a little vibe like that. Not too bad. Let's get this fenced in, and then we'll kind of work with some transition areas as well. Okay, so we're getting some big boy uh, residential demands coming in now. Uh, so it now feels like a good point to uh, continue expanding that suburban grid. Super. So we just expanded out our suburban layouts with the American Eclectic theme, which of course now allows us to continually zone up uh, these blocks as and when we get residential demand in. And wonderful. We have just hit Boomtown, which gives us public transport. Very exciting, uh, alongside a whole bunch of new public transport themed assets. Uh, also some of our highway roads as well, alongside some uh, fields, which we'll be doing in our farming episode. Very exciting indeed, everyone. <laughs> I don't think it is, right? So many assets to play with. But I think I'm fairly happy with this expansion as it stands. However, I do want to, as I mentioned, have a look at introducing something of a public transport plaza. So we do need to have a little chat about this. So the public transport in most American cities is famously underdeveloped and kind of bad. Uh, definitely not to the extent that we have in Europe and the rest of the world. This is kind of like a pretty well-known fact, right? 
Uh, however, but we're playing City Skylines, right? Public transport is a massive part of the game and a huge part of the way that I play. So I will absolutely be including kind of my usual extensive public transport networks, even though Phoenix doesn't really have them. It does have kind of like an inner city tram in the downtown, but definitely not out here, but we have to do it because it's City Skylines, all right? So I hope that's okay. So let's start with some buses. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new bus roads as well, which is really exciting. Uh, we can do some things with these today as well. Uh, let's come into the bus depot. Uh, we'll grab the cheaper one, which is the regular one. And we can squeeze you in here. I do think it's going to be... Okay. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Saying that as if it's a question. I think we'll be alright there, okay? I think we'll be okay. Yeah, so let's use uh, some of these bus roads to develop perhaps like a little bus plaza here where we can meet with the trams. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes. I feel like those pavements are really thick. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure why that is. Okay. Not too bad. So let's have a little a little look at this road here. We'll save four tiles in between. This should give us enough room to play with. And then really it's just a case of now using uh, these little one-way uh, bus roads to create tiny little uh, bus plazas, I guess is what we're after here, right? So I think for the edges, we're going to run with the two-lane. Bring this out a touch deeper as well. Okay, and then within the middle of these, we will jump down into the one-unit ones. Save a distance of three tiles every time. Is that going to be acceptable? I think it is. Draw this road out so we can complete that pattern. So come down here again. So let's save ourselves three terminals, alright? This will be okay. Bring that down as well. Probably want to make these ones over here the two lane as well, just to help with the flow. Each of the bus stops themselves can be uh, kind of these little ones. Of course, we could just use uh, one of the bus actual stops from the game but i think whilst we have access to bus roads it's going to be fun to design our own here i think i'm relatively happy with that for, for right now anyway and we did also not taxes in that milestone as well which isn't the worst thing in the world because i certainly would like to use uh, some of the taxi depots here and again i think to help the design settle in a little bit more why don't we grab ourselves at some regular walking pathway. And then if we just align these up now between the taxi stands, it's going to look a little strange. But if we then come in with Surface Painter after the fact, we can now blend this in as though it's kind of one continual kind of open square. There's detailing opportunities here. Uh, where we do get kind of the dodgy surface painter vibes, of course, not always the easiest thing in the world to work with. Um, if we come in to plot the grow walls, we can just manually place with crop anarchy on. And that should hide the majority of it anyway, okay? And of course, we'll see Sims moving back and to across this kind of open concrete plaza now, uh, because the pathways are there. Which should be quite nice, I think, anyway. So let's get a bus flowing so we can actually see people moving around here. So we will start one there. That's going to be fine. And of course, we'll grab these. And um... Oh, actually, yes, we actually have... Overcharged egg models, don't we? I need to go and grab these. <laughs> uh, Blue Thunder's made us some models. We'll be right back. And there we go, everyone. We now have Overcharged Express buses. We will also have trams as well. Uh, and a huge shout out to Blue Thunder for these. If you haven't checked out his uh, library workshop collection. He makes some really, really good uh, public transport assets. So I'll leave his workshop page link down below. And if you really like my videos, then of course you can get these uh, Overcharged Express <laughs> buses for yourselves, both uh, left and right hand traffic and drive. So a uh, huge shout out to Blue Thunder for those. Really appreciate them. 
Hey, let's come in and grab some pathways now and start linking in uh, these little bus terminals together and we can have a little chat about uh, some initial uh, detailing concepts and palettes if we like. So we'll have people walking back into these terminals right here. And there's possibly some ideas we can get involved with if we want to search for perhaps some kind of planter. We were using these in the first episode. And then I think with a couple of Apollo trees to centralise and move it, we can uh, kind of create some little bits of shade uh, as people wait in the bus stop. It's not just to be quite exposed to the elements out here, right? But I uh, love the overcharged egg buses, okay? That's not going to be too bad. And, uh, we can now just simply uh, grab these. We'll go for props and uh, trees and drag over. Just a simple case of copy and paste and uh, repeat this little pattern in each of our little bus stop areas here. Of course, we can get involved in some kind of park and fast food detailing as well if we wanted to. Uh, towards our detailing time lapse, but this isn't going to be too bad a feel for an initial little concept and design for a smaller little bus plaza. We'll definitely get involved with some plot growables along this front here as well. But for right now, that's not going to be too bad, I don't think. I think it's going to be okay. I uh, definitely want to bring in some trams into the area too, as always. We love a tram, okay? So let's have a look at how we can factor this into the area also. So we want to bring it across here. So if we come in with Anarchy, we can force the connection across this and have it running kind of parallel with our arterials and maybe bring it through the suburb as well. Again, you know, not true to real life, but we have to kind of accept at some point we are playing City Skylines and we do need uh, appropriate public transport connections. Then I guess we can just plan in this little tram line to now flow through our suburb and factor into whatever builds that start to develop over there. But we can certainly make it part of our little uh, little bus plaza here that's going to occupy a nice spot of the main arterial road. And also sit uh, quite gently opposite our little kind of suburban park here. Nice, isn't it? It's really fun playing with all these new assets and... New ideas that have totally been closed off to us before. Very excited. <laughs> okay. That's not too bad. I think I'm going to be uh, relatively happy with that. I also want to now introduce a new housing district uh, to start playing with another one of the themes that we have created. So again, we're going to draw out a little district. Which is going to be the Spartan Angel district, of course, after one of my wonderful uh, mods and Patreon subscribers. So welcome, Spartan. Thank you for your support, buddy. And of course, just as last time, we want to come into themes. We want to enable theme management. We want to apply uh, rural US res. So since we're kind of treating this side of the arterial uh, down here on the right side as something of an older part of town and that will eventually transition into some kind of mass farming industry over here, we definitely want the housing to reflect that vibe as well, which is why we're going to be playing uh, with this little custom theme. So again, I'm thinking uh, some more uh, frontage road action to help the houses sit up and against this main arterial. And again, we can just maximize the spaces. And that should be okay. If not, we just want to slightly lift up this node here. And all these as well. Not too bothered about fractured zoning with the university content creator stuff. All the assets look relatively nice. This should be a nice little addition to this new little pocket of uh, wireless that's developing over here as well. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. That commercial demand will slowly satisfy. So I now want to kind of work on the last addition uh, to this part of the suburb today, which is going to be something of a, a high school park. Now we are playing with this mod here. I think it's the life cycle rebalance, which just gives the sims life cycles uh, a little more meaning. Uh, however, in the early game, this does affect you a little slightly in the fact that there are no kind of teens or young adults. We are waiting for them to grow up, which currently means that because of that, there is no uh, high school demand. There's currently zero people eligible because they're all kids <laughs> at the minute. Uh, but that doesn't stop us from designing these little school parts, okay? So I want this little school area here to kind of be like an athletics center. 
people like an athletic school. If you're maybe of the sportier variety, you would perhaps come and study here. So let's see what we can do to implement that vibe. We definitely want to be playing with a few of the high school stadium assets. And for this, I think we're going to rethink the tram line temporarily because we want to come through with some part life paths as roads, I think, initially. So let's bring this one down this way. So you know when you have a very distinct vision for something in mind and you're not quite sure how to go about replicating it? This is kind of what I'm at here. So let's see what we have to play with. Let's grab those parks. So let's grab this high school stadium. We'll have this here. That's going to be all right. Okay. And then we are playing with a couple of these assets here as well. Kind of a consolidated high school that has several different parts to it. So you can kind of construct larger areas, which I really like. And they do kind of function as student capacity. So the athletics bit of the consolidated high school will hold 120. So that's definitely something that I'm quite a big fan of. And we definitely want this athletics building within the complex somewhere. Okay. So we'll eye up something of an initial concept here. I now know that this building is going to take centre stage and we want one of these high school pathways to come down and out front to fix that connection problem which we have done. I don't think I'm going to be totally adverse to that. And I want some parking in here as well so let's go ahead and grab uh, one of these larger parking lot roads here. Draw this out at least for a little bit and of course get those parking decals on as well. And then within the two spaces either side of this car park is now where I want the stadiums to fit. So we'll go ahead and grab that high school stadium again. We'll place that there. And then I think probably soccer field, maybe baseball. I feel like we have a baseball field there though. Even though if you actually look across the um, the bird's eye view or the Google image view of Phoenix, there are baseball fields everywhere. <laughs> you literally can't escape them. So that's going to be nice, I feel. Okay. It's going to be all right. Let's bring this down as well. So we're, let's see what's the cost there? 40. We're slightly just out there, aren't we? Can we redraw this in? I wonder with anarchy. Yes, we can. Not like that though. There we go. That's what we want. And we probably don't need this connection here now. All right. We can just allow this to sit centrally and then bring these guys back down again. Let's continue to work with these part life paths as roads, which is just like seriously such a tremendously handy mod and I probably don't want to bring that one back down I don't think no we'll allow that to sit there that's going to be okay let's have a look at some more of these little high school assets again we have maybe some admin here too which is a good building we also have some cafeteria buildings which again you know because it's part of the consolidated high school pack will hold 100 and function as a high school as well just a little complex like this, okay? And I think, you know, we can't, we shouldn't be afraid once we have the money to also include some of the regular high school stuff as well, which will just act as a massive kind of education and land value center when we're packing it out with parks and school assets like this. Okay. And there's definitely room uh, for some of these tennis courts as well, if we wanted to. We can possibly maybe squeeze in couple of these either side and again just kind of arrange them as close as possible and there we go this will slowly start to occupy this space here and I think certainly look a little more organic once we do have uh, some initial surrounding residential zoning I had to come and accompany this although I think these spaces here are probably going to be saved for some kind of parkland I imagine some kind of open space here to accommodate the tram depot as well because we haven't got that in yet either uh, let's take a loan because I am absolutely burning through my money. We'll take two. We'll take 80k because that's free money. Uh, let's come into our trams as well. Let's also grab the tram depot, which is uh, a mega loud asset. And will actually fit quite nicely into this space here, which we can probably make a bunch of the park. Also include the tram depot as well, but we will definitely want to leave a little bit of breathing room around the edge of that so let's move this expanse over here instead how is our new housing developing here 
yeah, so it's not too bad. I probably want to remove the use out of these using uh, Beautify our builds, which you probably will do. It's a bit too green, which is <laughs> something we never thought we would say after Novaria, right? So let's have a look at this tram line again. It's going to make sense now for this one to just hook into here, and then we can turn uh, into a tram road now, which we have a couple of different options for. There's a road here that can accommodate trams. Which I don't think I'm on the look of, so I think we'll bring this through. We we'll even make a little tram turnaround point in the campus itself, which wouldn't be too bad either. But you know, we now have public transport lines prepared, and we can serve at this suburb with public transport, which are probably mainly buses and trams. We'll try and uh, feature them in a couple of different places where we can. Then how about we turn this uh, into a park here? So within the theme, there's a couple of different ways we can get grass. We can come into ground resources and paint out fertile land, uh, which will give us kind of a slighter, more green texture, okay? Or you can come into your landscaping and go for sand. This is a much brighter green, kind of a lot more artificial grass looking. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for this one right here. Of course, with the regular painter tool, it's not the easiest thing in the world to paint in but you can be a little more creative with it and see what you like so we can maybe even add in a water feature here as well okay like a little lake and a pond for people to walk around here some transitional parkland and green belt between suburbia and kind of main street right so i think i'm on board with that let's get involved with some terraforming for the first time in Isle shall we everyone let's come down and add brush strength as well too low. There we go. That's perfect. Let's grab that. And then we'll level this out in the shape that we want. Let's perhaps have it flank the tram depot. Right in here. It doesn't have to be mega deep. Okay. We'll of course remove the grass off the bottom as well. Allow that natural stone shape to come back through. And then down here we have water sources. So good way to use these. Pause the game. You can bring your capacity down if you want. Place it and then click and drag it. And then as that kind of second mesh leaves the map, that is showing your water height. So you just want it to be at the top of your kind of dugout area that you've chosen. Pop the game on three speed for a hot minute. And then slowly but surely, that water source will fill up to the level that you've specified. So we can now make little custom little custom lakes and little custom man-made ponds. Just so cool. <laughs> I love this water source mod. No more fresh water outlets, everyone, right? So happy. And of course, we can have a discussion about some pathways. I think I'm pretty happy for vanilla dirt to come through this area. Of course, plenty of prop detailing to be had uh, during the deed sign time, that's of course. And then perhaps just some generic uh, little park fencing to round out uh, this area also. Alongside some larger, maybe greener trees that don't quite stand out as much and help us blend in with these little grass textures, okay? However guys, that does feel like a good place for a detailing time lapse. We have a bunch of work to do. We want to bring in some more commercial vibes onto the main street here, alongside adding some of our fast food assets onto this kind of public transport plaza, so you know, people switching lines that can't actually you know, grab something to eat as they get off. I detail our park with props and assets, of course, and slowly refine this little high school educational campus that we've developed. And I get the trams flowing as well, so we can at least see them uh, in action. If not, they won't be that busy yet because there's nothing over there. But it should still be quite nice anyway. And detail, all these little areas here get, get quite overgrown in this area. Maybe bring in a pedestrian skywalk. Uh, lots of Ilos green belt between the kind of dusty old uh, graveyard and the transition into old town. Get some pathways knocking around in here. And just generally make today's build uh, fit into Ilos a little more organically, as is the rest of the town. So, we'll be right back.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below really do help me out and bring more people to my channel. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really happy with this, we've started to introduce some slightly older side of town vibes over here on the right of the screen and this will absolutely be expanded across the other side of the little dried up riverbed. Or I think it's a wash, I thought I saw someone comment, is what you actually call it over in uh, Arizona at least. But really happy with these little kind of car park baseball blocks that are starting to appear in the suburb now. Making little custom public transport plazas using these really cool bus roads. And of course it's always nice to see trams in there. Although I, I totally realise there are no trams in suburban Phoenix. <laughs> but we're playing city skylines. We need public transport infrastructure to support the traffic. So it's a little bit of a trade-off between hardcore realism. And not that this is a super realistic build anyway, but hopefully you get my point but either way do hang around for the rest of the outro Taj. there was a ton of detail you guys wouldn't have seen and our little sports high school campus complex thing is looking really nice now yeah, so do hang around and check it out but thank you so much again for all support on ilo so hope you've enjoyed the second episode and we will see you during the live streams over christmas otherwise i thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day